Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Today we're going to be using MUDEC's export tool to export your MUDEC onto a storage medium. And uh, we're just going to download this export tool right from their website, make sure it goes on the desktop, and it does have the .desktop extension. Some browsers will mangle that. Okay, so we've got it, and if you were to just double click it from here or open it from here, you'll, it'll open in Kate, so that's why you have to run it from the desktop. Now before we run this guy, we're going to make sure we mount some large capacity external drive, a USB drive, or what I've got here is a one terabyte external Western digital drive, plenty of space. I'm gonna mount it before I run the export tool. All right, just to make sure how much space we've got, we got plenty of free space. I figure I got 60, 70 gigabytes here. We run it, it's gonna make sure that we actually want to run it and we get started. So the first thing it's gonna do um, is going to export all your saved games. So now we need to choose a location. So we're gonna choose the one terabyte external. Sorry, I had to hide the contents. I swear it's not porn. We're gonna create a new folder here called whatever you want. I'm gonna call it MU Deck Backup. And then create. And then we're just gonna hit okay. All right, so the save files, depending on how many you have, of course, should go fairly fast. Now it says it found your storage folder on internal storage. Do you wanna go ahead and export that? You want to export that. That's where all sorts of custom stuff for like Yuzu and other emulators sit. You'll want that. That took me about three minutes or so to get through that portion of the equation. Do you want to export all your BIOS files? Well, yes, of course. You don't want to have to copy those by hand, right? So we'll export our BIOS files. And I have a pretty full set. It only took about a minute to copy these over, but it got them all, which is great. And you want to export your games. Well, this is the part the ROMs take forever, about 18 minutes, and there you go, you're done. <laughs> Don't you wish yours would go that fast? So now that we're done, let's go and see a little bit about how the sausage is made. We'll open up a Dolphin. Once again, I swear it isn't porn. We're gonna open up that folder, the MUDEC backup folder. And we're gonna hit properties first. I wanna see how big it is. Sorry you couldn't see that. Okay, so we're looking at um, about 60 gigabytes. That was pretty close. Excellent. So if you go inside here, it's got an MU Deck folder, and you can see there's nothing really special here. It's just a whole bunch of folders from the MU Deck install. That's pretty cool. Simple, easy, make sure you don't miss anything. Yeah, and there they are. Look at that. Okay, and there's all of our BIOS files. Everything is where we would hope it would be. Cool, there's our saves. Great. And if you just wanna see how big your ROMs are, you can take a look at these now, about 53 gigabytes of ROMs. So you're probably asking yourself, um, what about all my scrape data, my screenshots and everything? No, you're gonna to have to get those yourself. So we're gonna to go to the emulation folder into tools and we're gonna find the downloaded media folder. I would copy that not inside that MU Deck folder, but inside your backup folder. I don't think it would matter if you put it inside of MU Deck, but let's not bother with that. Let's just put it right next to it. We'll have to restore that one ourselves. And we got quite a bit to do here. So that took about a minute and a half or so. Not too bad of a deal. And we'll just let her finish up here. We need to restore it to our other deck. We're gonna do that in the next video. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. We'll see you soon.